So as you can see, we are walking this very arid, deserted area and everywhere there are these fossilized trees that are turned into stone. So all these stones that you see on the ground are actually trees. When you are not allowed to pick them up, you will pay a pig fine. These things are happening in the times of the Contuana lands. The whole continent was together. But these trees was growing in Central Africa and there was the trees more than high 30 to 50 meters the diameter was 1.2 the names of the trees was the Gordides they are the same as the pine trees and these trees will come down by water from Central Africa so on the way to Namibia these trees they are lose their branches the roots and the leaves so when they are coming in Namibia there is not so much water to go further and the trees was covered by the sun and also by the clay. 1,000 meters deep was a tree under the ground and they did not get the oxygen. They was under the hands of the pressure. So the different minerals that go inside, like a mangan, p silica, iron oxide, they mix with the groundwater. They form the acid and the acid replaced the wood to stone. So when the two continents divided, South America and Africa, after erosion, this has come out. Just nothing but heat and stones and dried plants this is africa <laughs> welcome to africa here in the ground it's such a zillion thousand million years old tree that became and you can really see it's a wood with tree rings and everything it even has the color of the tree right now. In the scorching sun and goodbye crazy desert. One from this side and the root is gone down from there. Mm -hmm. Go to form the another velvicia. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's the male. So this is the female flower yeah, and that is the male flower. Yeah. And this is a world heritage site. So it's the first Namibia's first World Heritage Site. Site, you see, this tree has no leaves. 